Hey fam, what's up? It's April here. Today, we're going to address my goals. <sighs> In my bullet journal at the beginning of the year and in a video I did a bookish goals video, I wrote down some goals. I wrote down some personal goals and some book life goals. And we're going to go over how those are going today. Some of them are going really well, others not so much. So let's just start with the personal goals. Uh, I didn't go over these personal goals on my YouTube channel but hey, I figured it'd be fun to talk about them here. The first one and the only one that I have achieved so far is to get a new job. So I did, I left my job at the bookstore and I got a job in after school care, which is great because it's in my field of study and I get to work with kids, so yeah. Ding! The next goal is to graduate university, which obviously I can't yet because I'm not finished, but I am, I will. I'm so much closer to graduating. I have two subjects left, guys. <sighs> and one of them is my six week internship, which is later on in the year. So this one is going well so far. The next goal is to lose 10 kilos. I put on three, so, so that's obviously going great. But like, honestly, I'm starting to love my little tummy. I'm just like rocking it, you know? And the fourth goal is to pay off a loan that I have, which is not paid off yet, but that's okay, we've still got time. Okay, moving on to my book life. My first goal was to read 100 books. As of right now, I've read 95, so I think we're good on that front. The next goal was to reach 20,000 subscribers, and I did. I reached 20,000 subscribers in April of this year, which was so exciting. And my next goal is to reach 25,000 subscribers. At the moment, I'm almost at 21,000, so I don't know if it's doable or not, but hey, it's just a goal. It doesn't matter if I don't get there in the end. I'm just excited to be trudging along. Another goal that I had was to spend less than a thousand dollars on books. I have already failed this goal. Ah, uh, yes, I, I've i already failed this goal. Um, you guys know, books are my life. I don't spend money on much else. I don't buy new clothes. I don't buy makeup. I, like, literally all of my money goes towards, like, living expenses, my animals, and books. That's it. So yeah, I'm not too upset about it because, you know, books are my passion. But yeah, it's a little disappointing. Another goal that I had was to read a lot of Stephen King. And we all know how that went because I stopped doing the Stephen King project. So that's not happening. I still plan on reading some Stephen King books, but I'm not going to be reading like 20. That's just ridiculous. Another goal that I had was to get my TBR down to 50 books. I know for a fact this is not going to happen this year. It is a work in progress. I'm currently at about 150 books, but I am on a book buying ban for the next couple of months and I've been really good with it. So look, hopefully I can make a significant dent in it, but 50 books is asking a little bit too much. Like I'm not superhuman, okay? <laughs> Although looking back at the beginning of the year, my TBR was at 110 books. So it has increased by about 40 books. I did not know that. That is ridiculous. And the last goal that I had was to stick to an uploading schedule. I have done that. There's been a couple of days here and there where a video has gone up a day late or that I had a busy week and I didn't post or something. But for the most part, I have been sticking to my three video a week schedule and it has been so good. So that is it for my mid-year goals update. Ooh, let me know how you guys are doing on your goals. I'm really intrigued to know that. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in a new one. Goodbye.